Hey everyone, welcome back to our beginner series. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about removal. So there are a few different methods that you can use for removal, but today I'm gonna be walking you guys through how to use our removal kit. So our removal kit is really great, you know, it comes with a little nail spa for a little added luxury, but when you want to go ahead and remove your manicure, the first thing that you're going to want to do is gather all of your supplies. So most importantly, you want to make sure that you have 100% acetone, regular nail polish remover, it's going to take a lot longer to remove, dip powder, you know, it's a little bit thicker, seals everything in, adds that added protection to your nail, so it's going to need a little bit more to come off. So you're going to want your 100% acetone, a file, you can use our rugged or refined file or even a buffer block or a drill, whatever your preference is. And then you're also going to want to have your nail spa ready and then also your cotton balls. So first things first, you're going to want to break the seal of your manicure and file off that finish gel. So this is when you take your file, your buffer block, your drill, whatever you'd like, and you're going to want to file the shine off of your nail. Insider tip, file the shine off of your nail and then just file a bit more. So what you're doing is you're really making sure that your finish gel is removed, you're really making sure that you're kind of removing any clear that you may have put on if you're using a glitter or a shimmer or if you did a design or anything. And then from there, it's just gonna help the 100% acetone saturate your nail more efficiently and more effectively for a quicker removal. Also, pro tip, if you're using a gel polish or our tack-free gel or our um, matte gel top coat, it is gonna take a little bit more to file those off just because they are acetone resistant. So once you've gone ahead and filed off the shine and filed off a little bit more, now you wanna get your nail spot ready. And so with that, you wanna use warm water Definitely not too hot of water just because acetone is flammable and we want you guys to be as safe as possible. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna separate your nail spa, you're gonna have your nail spa compartment and then you have your lower tub which is where we're gonna put the warm water. So go ahead, fill that up with warm water, fasten your nail spa lid back on top and now what you're gonna wanna do is put your acetone in there. So what I like to do is pour just a little bit of acetone in my little nail spa pockets if you will and then from there I like to add my cotton balls so a really good thing is you always want to make sure that you're adding your cotton balls in there just because it gives you something to kind of like massage your nail against and with that that helps break down the dip powder and kind of soften everything up instead of just letting it soak straight in the acetone so from there you just want to take your cotton balls pop them in let everything kind of get warm and one of the reasons that we actually use warm water is that the heat actually helps warm the acetone and from there it kind of speeds up the process. And so you just wanna to wanna to take your nails and just kind of massage them against the cotton balls. Feel free to kind of take your fingers out, take the cotton balls, kind of rub them on your nail a little bit. So you're gonna to wanna to let your nails soak for like seven to 10 minutes, but after that you should be all ready to go. After that seven to 10 minutes has passed, your nail should be mostly removed. Take, feel free to take those cotton balls, kind of rub gently. If you know you use a really chunky glitter and you did a lot of clear or a lot of dip power layers or anything like that, you know, it may take a little bit longer. Feel free to add a little bit more acetone and get back in there. But after that, you'll be all good to go and you're ready for your fresh manicure. So thanks for hanging out today, guys. I really hope that you've enjoyed this removal video. You know, removal is something that can be really intimidating to people when they first start out, but it's so easy. So definitely don't fret and make sure to save this video, send to any friends that may be a little bit hesitant to dry dip powder and let them know just how easy it is to remove and again, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, turn on the bell notification. We have more videos in our beginner series coming, so make sure to stay tuned. And if you've tried this removal method and you see how easy it is, be sure to leave a comment below and let us know what your favorite part of removing is. Is it getting ready for a next manicure? Because I think that's my favorite part. All right, bye guys.